welcome back again the topic code is emwd dash s1 now we are in the dispersion section the title of the topic is the dispersion electromagnetic wave dispersion you are familiar with the dispersion uh, term in your fsc that the when the light is divided into seven colors by the the prism which is a medium optical medium so we will see now the related electromagnetic fields how they are related with the refractive index uh, and the speed of the wave and these things uh, related uh, terms we will be uh, looking into that so dispersion to start with the the electromagnetic waves when propagate through the region of space where there is no charge or current magnetic regions are given as the these are the the set equations divergence of e is equal to 0 curl of e is equal to minus delta b by delta t curl of b is equal to epsilon mu naught uh, delta e by delta t here we see that the for the free space we, see, we use the electromagnetic uh, properties of the medium as epsilon permittivity of free space and u naught permeability of the free space terms and divergence of b is equal to 0 this is uh, the four equations makes one set uh, equation 1 now if the electromagnetic wave travel inside a medium but in region where there is no free charge or free current then the maxwell equations become the divergence of d is equal to 0 the we have got the second is the divergence of b is equal to 0 third is curl of e is equal to minus delta b by delta t and fourth is the curl of h is equal to delta d by delta t so the we consider in the big case the medium to be linear and homogeneous so that the epsilon and mu do not vary from point to point. For linear and homogeneous medium, the maxwell equations are given as the uh, divergence of E is equal to 0, curl of E is equal to minus delta P by delta T, divergence of B is equal to 0 and curl of P is equal to epsilon mu delta E by delta T. Now maxwell equations, this is equation number 3, uh, in equation 3 differs from the equation 1 only in the replacement of epsilon naught mu naught by epsilon mu. So evidently when electromagnetic wave propagate through a linear homogeneous medium at a speed given as v is equal to 1 over epsilon mu square root, we call this equation number 4. For optically transparent medium, uh, the mu r is typically close to 1 and epsilon r is greater than 1. So we have v is equal to 1 over mu naught epsilon naught epsilon r square root this is equation number 5 so evidently then the light should travel slower through the matter than the free space a fact that is of course well known from optics so the speed of the wave uh, in a medium is given as the ratio of the equal to c by n where n is the refractive index call it equation number 6 where v is the speed of the wave c is the speed of light and n is the refractive index if uh, it follows so that the n the refractive index is related to the electric field and magnetic electric and magnetic properties of the material uh, because the c is 1 over epsilon mu naught but here the v is 1 over epsilon mu uh, putting this uh, in equation 6 n is equal to c by v so uh, uh, putting the re respective terms and simplifying that we get the epsilon mu over epsilon naught mu naught square root. So, since n is equal to c by v and uh, v is equal to frequency times wavelength, so we can put that in this term. So we what we find that n is r proportional to uh, inversely proportional to one over lambda. Now the index of refraction typically varies somewhat according to the wavelength that is the color of the incident light or uh, white light that is what accounts for the dispersion of the light by a prism 
are a droplet of water in the formation of rainbow. Hence, the dispersion is a phenomena in which electromagnetic waves are affected by the electromagnetic properties of the medium, that is epsilon and uh, mu, which, is, which are the electromagnetic properties of the medium. Now, let us we take now into the count uh, in the dispersion, the frequency dependence of the epsilon, mu and sigma. Uh, we have observed that the propagation of electromagnetic waves through matter is governed by three properties of the material, which we took to be constants, the permittivity epsilon, the permeability mu and the conductivity sigma. Actually, each of these parameters depends on the, uh, depends to some extent on the frequency of the waves. Indeed, if epsilon and mu were true constant, then the speed of the wave in a non-conductor is given by V is equal to 1 over epsilon mu square root. And the index of refraction is given by n is equal to C by V, since the V speed of the wave is also defined as the omega by k, which is the wave vector uh, r k is equal to uh, omega uh, by k that we, we say the omega by k v is equal to k omega by k we put in that into that relation n is equal to c by v so we get n is equal to c by omega k or further we putting the omega to 2 pi f what we find that frequency is the uh, speed of the wave is also uh, frequency times the wavelength and we put we find the n is the inversion proportion to lambda since it is a well known known from the optics that n is the function of omega and also that of the lambda. So, a graph of equal glass prism is shown in figure 1 below. In the uh, n versus lambda uh, graph is plotted as a prism bends blue light more sharply uh, than the red and spreads uh, white light into the spectrum of colors. This ph phenomena in which the white light dispersed into various colors is called dispersion. By extension, whenever the speed of the wave varies with its uh, frequency in a medium, then the such supporting medium is called a dispersive medium. So, here we have, you can see the graph, which is uh, the lambda is plotted along the x-axis in angstrom, 4000 uh, ranging from 4000 to 9000 and n is from uh, 1.45 to 1.5. So, one can see that the the relationship between the n and the uh, uh, lambda, uh, obviously n we see is depending upon the epsilon and mu, which are the electromagnetic properties. So, uh, that means that the electromagnetic properties of the medium are responsible uh, for the dispersion, uh, they cause the refractive index and the, the, the white light uh, is carried into its uh, various colors. Uh, due to the dispersion phenomena. Okay, we reach to the end of the this topic. Uh, inshallah, we'll meet again in the next lecture with a new topic. Thank you.